Welcome to Pirate Nation. We're glad you're here. We'll start our tour with the cafeteria. The cafeteria was remodeled in our most recent bond to resemble more of a college atmosphere. As you'll see throughout the tour, Granbury has taken a major step into focusing on college readiness for their students. From the college credit opportunities to the 17 different career paths offered in the CTE Center, Granbury is preparing their students for life. All of this can easily be seen in the cafeteria, where college flags are hung throughout the building. Back at the front of the school, you'll see our fine arts program, which holds our choir and band that consistently win sweepstakes and first division ratings at UIL and regional events. Just past that, you'll see our auditorium, which hosts many concerts for the choir and band, as well as plays put on by our theater department. Back on the other side of the front office, you can find the Willie and Wanda Crossland Wing. This wing primarily holds the foreign language classes, as well as a handful of freshman classes. Next to the counseling office, you'll find our Go Center. This helps students with college counseling and readiness, as well as finding scholarship. side of the Go Center you'll find our Learning Commons, which serves as a library with extra conference rooms and a large presentation stage, which both get used in a variety of ways. As we go further down, we'll pass through our lower Grand Hall and begin to look at our Marine Corps JROTC facilities. One of the highlights of Granbury High School is our shooting range and rifle team, which are both recognized state and nationally. Our rifle range has hosted over 600 shooters from multiple states, and our shooters have meddled at every level. Not only that, our Cyber Patriot team, Academic team, Robotics team, and PT team have all been recognized at their respective levels. For all of these reasons, our Marine Corps JROTC program has been designated as a Naval Honor School for the seventh year in a row. facilities, you'll find our Upper Grand Hall, which hosts our math, history, and English classes. Jumping to the back of the school, we'll find our brand new 89,000 square feet CTE Center. As we head in, we'll pass our bistro, which is ran by our culinary students, take a quick glimpse at the CTE Commons area, and then move down our business hall. This hallway consists of most of our computer science, accounting, and business classes. This year, Granbury has added a variety of dual credit classes that include computer science and accounting. massive culinary kitchen. This is where our culinary students prepare food for our bistro, otherwise known as the galley, as well as our barbecue team. Our barbecue team, in its first year of existence, made it to state. Moving back 
up to the lower grand hall, we'll make our way down, passing through the majority of our science labs, and onto our CTE section again. This portion of the school hosts our forensics labs, as well as our design and multimedia, and then further down is the art hall. Next, we'll circle back into our CTE Commons area. This area is located between the law enforcement classes as well as the engineering classes. The teacher offices in the center can be seen as well. In one of our biggest programs, Agriculture, consist of everything from welding, horticulture, to animal sciences. Within these classes, students can walk away with a certification to immediately go into the job force of their industry. Not only that, this year Granbury offers dual credit opportunities in welding. Next, we'll go to the auto shop. Apart from teaching students the basics of working on vehicles, this facility maintains all of GISD's maintenance trucks, transportation suburbans, small school buses, and mowers. By working on these vehicles, as well as others, students learn how to get hands-on experience, which helps them in their ASE entry-level technician certification that they will leave with. Up next is the Aviation and Aerospace Engineering Wing. Alongside the classroom, you'll see the student-built plane as a part of Project Eagle's Nest, which is a program that focuses on hands-on learning via building a plane to supplement the student's learning inside the classroom. Mm -hmm. 